Did you ever wonder how the Dursleys could be so mean? Not only did they make an orphaned child sleep in a closet for 11 years, but they underfed Harry, put bars on his window and abused him for his entire childhood. He dreaded spending time with them because they made his life so miserable. How can a family member be so horrific? Well, this theory gives us a possible reason. What if the Dursleys were only so mean and awful to Harry because they were being cursed by their proximity to him? And why might this make a difference? Well, remember that Harry houses the seventh hidden Horcrux that attached itself to him on the night of his parents' murder. And Voldemort's Horcruxes, being part of Voldemort's soul, are horrendous things that have chilling effects on people around them. Do you remember how Ron reacted to Slytherin's locket? When wearing it, he became bitter and awful and even got to the point of running away from his best friend and effectively leaving the love of his life because of the effect it had on him. And when Ginny got too close to Tom Riddle's diary, she became fully possessed and ended up setting a deadly basilisk on the whole school without even realising. Can you imagine what living with a Horcrux would do to someone who'd lived with it for years and years, as the Dursleys did? Could this be the reason why Vernon, Petuna and Dudley are so unimaginably awful to Harry, who had been through quite enough in his short life when he landed on their doorstep? Possibly. Now, this is just a theory, but it certainly could make a lot of sense. If we take a look at the other side, however, J.K. Rowling herself wrote on Pottermore that Vernon hated Harry because he looked so much like James Potter. Plus, from the books, the Dursleys were not the nicest of people to begin with. What do you think? Could this Harry Potter theory change everything?